couple promotions going on as well if you do want to use our discount code. Chris Stoke. Well, not the one to first, take first contact. Instead, it's Mr. to lose his head. Christo's following up as well. Clean shots. Okay. It's almost difficult to follow what's going on because we're always just watching the wrong person. You never know who's going to come in with the headshot again. It's meant to follow up. Oh, no. Run out of bullets. This gets messy. But Christo drive by. Literally no reason to be uh, pulling any rotation. So instead, funnel into mid. Try not to die to the MP9s. It's Christo's or to find three. Up short. Next is taking a fair bit of leg room, and Altex is incredibly vulnerable, but Christo takes first blood. Oh no, he's taken two. The lone premium rifle doing all the damage. Altex knows that he just needs to go one and done. They've got the man advantage. They're happy to play off of it. Patty with a crisp one sap. An addition to go and retrieve it. Wants to put pressure onto Bro, but his group's around the corner. Bro's there. He's found Christo's all the early days. There's sort of nothing. Solid set in stone yet. A nice little trade to get things going. BTN at least finds them an entry. Patsy. Oh, it's messy. BTN takes his head out as well, but Bro responds. Adam gone. Back into a three on three. For a second there. Doesn't fancy pulling the trigger. I'll text. Look how much legroom he's gained. He's all the way up in TV. You can get a late flank into middle, then timing is everything if Modo stays on the angle. Freebie for Bro. Here it is. Now he has the info. Nator ain't over. He's going to peek in from the ticket booth. Altex on the angle, but not quick enough to the trigger. Not even going to go for it. He wants exit frags, and we might be able to get them. No. Okay. Crosshair was in the right place, but... Let's hope kill from Adam again. Altex follows up with another. Remember, they had a whole load of cash in the banks. They were able to reinvest here. But they won't have that same luxury again if they can't pull it over the edge in this one. Altex doing God's work here on the B-bomb site. Still the solo anchor is rotating teammates being forced back by the mollies, by the util. And still, at this point in the round, he's all alone. Mr. in middle still taking an awkward fight with BTN that he loses. Headshot from Smack. Mister follows up with one of his own. Christo Adamo. It's all going back and forth, but Australis telling us. Peeks out, but not wide enough to be in the crosshair of the Orp. Big kill onto Mister. As Christo takes out Raga, caught lacking. Now a 2v1 for Adam to pull off. They know exactly where he is, but he's taken out, bro. You don't beat Christo unless you're as quick as that. Quite a fast approach towards the control here from Nexus. Look, they've got a player out top mid already. It's Raga forcing the fights. Let's find one back in the meantime. Rag as low as well. A single bullet finish him. There's no HEs. No, no offensive you deal whatsoever for the CD side. But Mr. doesn't need it. Follows up with a double. And a man advantage here for Australis Talent. Put him in good stead to follow up. No real need for the fight there for Mr. Altex in a good position. Posted up. Knows they're coming short. There it is. Clean one onto Raga. Only needed one bullet. And now they're miles away. Voltex really has to stay alive for quite some time here, and Modo's not going to allow that. I don't know what side he's on, though. Behind the bench, spots the head, go for the wall, bang, there it is. Chris Stoke doesn't miss those. That's he doesn't miss any senses tingling, and his timing's perfect. One-way smoke, plays on top of the van. That's beautiful for the two entries. And a round shut down, stopped in its tracks before it even gets rolling. Adam takes a whole load of damage, finally. Might just bless him as he gets back on the angle. Contact made. What a flick. Spots the other two as well on the, on the corner. And certainly won't be re-peeking for the fight, but he'll relay that information to his teammates who should be able to stay alive here. But he's going to be hunted down as soon as that timer expires. There's no way he gets out of this alive. So he takes the peek.
Smoking window, smoking top cons. They have safe passage the whole way through. Christos missed a shot, and Smek is so, so quick to the trigger on that headshot. Altex can follow up for a trade. There is a second man here on the B-bomb site, but Adam well, delivers it right back. Modo follows up with another onto Patty as well. And yeah, it's so, so pivotal there from Smek, even though it's the only kill in the round that he's found. The fact that they end up with disadvantages, they end up losing those initial duels, but so consistent with the trades this time around. Altex once again finds the opening head, but no one's there to return the favor. Adam. His position means everything right now on ramp, but as he loses his fight, I think this round might just be too this far. This is gone. awkward, bro. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That is poor. Gives them a lifeline, gives them a fighting chance here in the round. The issue is they're walking right into a stack bomb site. Triangle formation on the crossfires here to try and shut this one out. Patsy, Christo, finish off the job. It's seven He's hit to all seven. by himself, desperately calling for the rotations. Needs some support. Big kill while flashed, but an instant trade's not bad at all. Upgrades into an M4. Patsy piling on the pressure here from door. Wants to try and get this done before they take those post plant positions, before they go and retrieve those rifles. And even with the pistol, does a fair bit of damage, buys some time and space for his teammates to arrive at the party. And Modo has got it all to do, all by himself. Deagle. Does connect, doesn't take a single hit either, so still with full health, but no Kevlar. He kind of sacrificed himself in this round to drop everything to his teammates. Further damage onto Patty. But 3 HP, Patty's here holding it. The C4 being defused, and there's not a lot he can do about it. Valiant attempt from Modo. The top can't short anything. flash to a company as they fly through the window. USP at long range should be able to do more damage here. The crossfire is brilliant. They're just not hitting their shots. Finally, Modo and Raga follow up. We find ourselves in a oh, oh, an awkward fight, especially with the USPs. You want to Glock at this kind of range. BTN will punish him for playing up close and personal. Modo yet to take a fight, worried that he's so low. He doesn't want to take a duel. A single bullet to the body would finish him off. And there it is. It's Mr. To deliver the goods. Smek left with the 1v2. Knows where both of them are. But doesn't have a lot of time here. Remember they didn't invest in a kit. Time is of the essence. And he just doesn't have it on his side. He's not even hunting for this one. He's happy to die. They'll all go down with the ship. But he even finds the headshot before. Instant smoke on the molly. They now know he's here to spam away. Patty's the one to finish it. Big headshot from BTN. Still keeps the numbers in Australis Talent's favour. In fact, Mister's going to send it their way even further. Shot through the box will do literally no damage. It's not wall bangable with an A1S. Not there. Triple box. Ragger. Location now revealed. They want to try and pressure him down. And there it is. Just pile on the pressure. We're a lot closer to the finish line if Australis Talent keep up this pressure, though. Christo boosted up. Modo. Edge of the smoke plays the one way perfectly. Even follows up with a second. Oh, Modo still delivering. Mr. finally has the confidence to try and work his way out of underpass thinking. Oh no, surely can't still be on this angle. Bro's going to try and take as many to the grave with him, but the likelihood of him pulling off a 1v5 here is pretty slim. Raga wants his second piece of the pie. There it is. Gosh, Raga, I'm looking at you, my friend. A big kill from Smack to open things up. Oh, BTN. In jungle with Smack just following up again. I just don't know how he keeps getting away with this. Altex creeping around. Spots ahead. Big opening. Could give them something to work with here. Remember, they've still got loads here. There's no trade. They didn't want to throw all their eggs into one basket. Brilliant. Flashbang from Broads. Clear them off the angle. Back into an even situation. Firm Adam's location. Molly into Palace. They're not sure if Ragger's there. Instead, he's under. And he's able to line them both up. Spray them down. And take a night. A beautiful open shot. down and it's a bit of a weird one here for nexus a round that they should be going for and by the looks of things they will but they've given up so much control they want to play for this retake but they seem just completely unaware btn not checking his angles Rain at in. all bro patty take a little bit of initial tag damage but patty's there for the opening headshot onto smek brilliant kill into ct flash over the top into jungle but no they call this off perfectly 
even a player on short to cut off the fast rotations through jungle. Christo's there to do so. Adam can come up under pass and do some minute. kind of buy in this next one. That's it. Careful, my friend. There's one behind you. Oh, my God. How does he get away with that? Win unorthodox rounds in bizarre scenarios. Big kill from Adam. Gets things going early. Whiffed He's Molotov. making a lot of noise as he retreats. Patsy, this should be a freebie. No, Adam still follows up. It's traded, but it's two for one. Adam's done his job, and he's done it beautifully. Raga, alone on the site, though. He has got support coming his way. BTN and Modo in the kitchen. Lots of early damage. Dell needs to follow up with another. Lines up the spray. There's a whole load. But Smek and Modo follow up. All on old Texas' shoulders here. Everything. They've got a brilliant crossfire. This is surely impenetrable. And there we go. Smek gets the drop on him. Peeks out. Finishes him off. Opening shot from Modo won't connect. Important though, Paddy with another shot. Big one through the smoke on the head. Tagged down low, but the tables have really turned here. Both teams have no cash left after this one. It's worth so, so much for either one of them to pull this together. Big shot from Modo. He's been unbelievable this map so far. 20 kills, but Christo has just been that little edge better. 27 to his name. Raga, no. a fast B push, and BTN's all by himself with a FAMAS to defend it. Fully blinded twice in a row. They walk right past him, but there's not a lot. He's now do. been spotted. Smack going for, uh, well, the element of pressure, not the element of surprise. Tries to pile it on, tries to get right up close and personal in Christo's face, but it doesn't work out. Christo can use that orc like a shotgun. He's always more than happy to. Quick up close. Deadly at range, and Old Tex will finish off the job with a double. 16 to 11 for Australis Talent. They Getting things rolling in the pistol round. It's Nexus starting off on their CT side. Two kits, which is a bit of a weird one. Actually, not something that you ever see. Um, but, well, you see it today. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or if it's something they're going for. Either way, Ragger is going absolutely ham. He's finding all the headshots. Smek should be able to finish things off here as well, and they have a flawless yeah, round. You down, um, but... Adam follows up with the double. Oh my goodness. Up against rifles here as well. Astralis, they went for a full bite. They got the bomb plant and util. They didn't want to go for these SMGs with the bonus frags. A shot from Bro. The timing's good. He might be able to grab an M4. Doesn't want to venture further forward. Worried that they're coming in from behind. And he's absolutely right. Look at that timing. That's unbelievable. Spin around, though. BTN's hot on your heels as well. He's going to execute. Oh, there it is. Okay, finishes off the job. Nexus. They take... Nice opening from Ragat. Nexus. And it's showing no signs of slowing down in these opening stages of the round. Adam does find one as he pushes through Con, but Bro's there for the quick try. Right, there's two players down towards Monster. If BTN steps back a little further... Then there it is, Christo, brilliant awareness. Flash to try and get them out, try and deny this plot. Not going to happen, though. Massive whiff from Modo. And Christo's able to follow up. Smek spamming through to deny. Super aggressive here, but Smek doesn't want to overstay his welcome. Doesn't want to overstep the mark either. Altex thought he was dead to rights there. Somehow gets away with that one. Christo, in the meantime, has fallen, though. The aggression starts to press in from mid. That's the cue for the long player. To start to press forward, Mister is certainly not going to be expecting Smek so close, and he's able to find two. Can't quite triple up on the spray down, because... Surely this is cleared on the cross. It is, but he still gets away with a head. 30 seconds left. Bro doesn't know this. Ravos... Smoke out. Aids him on his pursuit, but Modo's timing's perfect. Boost Smoke steer from doesn't... Adam. Oh, a whole load of damage. He's going to swing wide to try and follow up with it, but not going to be able to do so still. Not a terrible start to the round here. Modo lingering. They know he's got to be around here because he went for the boost. And no one's fallen off yet. They would have had the sound cue. Bro with a headshot elsewhere. They still approach party. With uh, Want to well, try and push their way onto this A side. But BTN lingering. That would have been huge if he followed up there, but can't quite do it. All on to smack. Very winnable clutch. He's in a brilliant position. If he hits the head onto Old Tex, he swings wide. Con instead. The execution about to commence on the B site. Smek here. Flash over the top. It's Patty to find him. No one blinded. But the aim's still crispy. Mister follows up on the trade. And a 4v3. They've cleared all their angles. Christo wins the Battle of the Titans with the snipers. Old Tex, that's messy as hell. But he converts.
Climbing on the cross, pretty impeccable, but he will still be spotted by Bro as he swings Monster. And six to three. Like change of pace from Astralis Talent. I didn't wonder if anything would be changed up after that pause. 30 seconds to call a B rush is maybe a bit excessive. It isn't very successful either. Chris Stoke left in the 1v4. AWP in hand. Knows there's one close. Swift's just shot the pillar player, though. They kind of toy with him there. Opening kill from Adam. He was a man advantage at a time that's pretty important for it, to be honest. Raga following up with one as well. This is their ticket right back into the game, a crossroads. And they either let Astralis Talent run away with this. Or they pull it back. Altex fancies the latter. With BTN jiggling into long. Does spot Mister. He's the man with a bit of health behind him. And packs a nasty punch with the headshot. Kill here, mister, on the angle. Smack. Oh, does find his teammate for the trade is swift. As he grabs this. Right on the wire throughout this one so far. Adam working the tiny gap in the smoke, but Altex was right on the other side of it. And he didn't see his legs. Didn't pull the trigger. Ragger. There's two right below you, my friend. He just doesn't realize it. And Altex pops the barrel leaning over the top. Adam and BTN, though, with a crunch. Pe oh, what a shot from Christo. 30 seconds, Rappel. all the way through the T-spawn. Smack on the van. BTN in the corner. And they will mow them down on the cross. Smack actually Elf finds him himself. And in the same boat with this one. Christo, in the meantime, up short with a sniper of his own. Big kill from Raga, but instantly traded. BTN's here to support. Smack sort. Well, he goes big. A one for one when he's as low on health as he is, is absolutely fine. That's not, though. Huge whiff from BTN. Probably Chris shouldn't have. Christo is just farming him. Back to winning ways for this. Man. Seconds. So, I'm a fan of that boost when you've got it well drilled and you can do it super quick. But if you don't, then, uh, yeah, I really, really... Well, nice kills here from the CT side, but it does look like the round will go at Strand's talent's way. Nade in. No, Bro's killed his teammate. Okay, that got spicy for a second. If Modo had finished off Bro there, then we'd be in a 2v2 and things would have gone sour. Yeah, control of this series quite commandingly. Now on their CT side. Now, Mirage, their CT side didn't fare all too well, but Patsy under a bit of pressure. Glock right in front of him. The Nate does a fair amount of damage. I don't think they're going to be able to get anything done off of this. Adam's just farming and Patsy can finally trade. But a 1v5, an impossible situation. And one that he won't get out alive. Of course, just a full eco here for the ZT side. Not expecting too much, but a kill or two would be fantastic. Yeah, a little bit. Can... Seed with uh, appropriate caution. Big opening headshot from Adam, though. Eliminates Bro, the highest fragger on the server so far. Takes finds one of his own in the meantime. Big whiff onto Ragga on the second time round, though. Patty's able to relay the information on the B-bomb site anyway. Taps right at the back of barrels. No one clears him. And Modo's the sacrificial lamb that's happy to be traded in that scenario to maintain the man advantage. The problem is the bomb's been left behind. Ragger has to go back to retrieve it. Christo finds him. But that opens up a little space, a little window for Mr. to work his way up short. And that's all he needs. Nine's in play here for Astralis Talent. They face up against something maybe a little more substantial, but Christo doesn't care. Huge boost, massive opening. Made into monster. Oh, it does so much damage. And Mr. should be able to follow up with more here. Smoke adds a little complication to things, but that's all right. They take no damage. They took literally... Ooh, big opening from Bro as well. Take a little bit. This is a tag concerning. So obviously they have no connect control. They have no deep toilets or... Banana control. That doesn't... Flash over monster for... Nexus to clear it. Remember, they've had zero presence here towards Monster. 30 seconds left. 
You can either find these kills or buy time. Ooh, uncharacteristic miss from Christo, but it's all right. It serves as enough of a distraction for old decks to cover. Yeah, and okay. this loss won't be crippling for them, as I said at the start of this series. All that happens, they go 2-1. They've still got two chances. At least four maps of Counter-Strike to be played before they worry about losing their spot in the playoffs. But, of course, doing it on easy mode, getting yourself the best seed is yeah, certainly case. the best way to... And the cash just isn't there to support it. Oh, what a way to start off the round. Insult to injury from Christo. A collateral. Followed up with another. Adam does keep him afloat for a second long. Looking over the top, trying to play whack-a-mole, but not crisp enough for it. Oh, it's so messy. And Patty will finish him off. 16 to 8. My God, a strike.